welcome back to our YouTube channel. Welcome uh, back. For those who are new here, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And, and like. And don't forget to comment. Anyway, as promised, uh, this is our How We Met video. Every couple needs one. Every couple <laughs> met somehow. But guess what? We did not meet. We That's did not right. Meet. And so, as the title of the YouTube channel says, we are in an arranged marriage. <laughs> yes. And so, babe, since you guys arranged, let me know. Let us know how did we end up here. Okay, that's true. Uh, we did not meet, but our families uh, had previously met and uh, were good family friends. And actually, I had met her brothers and her sisters and her parents. I also knew your siblings. like. His family, as you hear, they are Filipinos and they are missionaries. And my father is a bishop and he has his own church. And so they were missionaries in our church and there were 12 children. And so I would see them, you know, the Filipino missionary church. But I cannot tell you that I saw him. Yeah, I'd see them, you know, from afar, but I knew his siblings. Like I would talk to his brother, talk to his sister. And yes. Yes, uh, she was even close with some of my siblings. and. I knew the brother pretty well, uh, but for some reason we were just kept apart. And because I think the time that we were uh, staying here also, you had left for the U.S. Uh, yes, to I, study for, Bible school. for mm -hmm. Bible school. And when she came back, that was also the time that I left the country to go back to my Philippines. So that's how. So I'll... you were in Kenya. Yes, I was yes, in Kenya. So I was in Kenya. So. Uh, missionary here with my parents uh, so that's how the Lord we think <laughs> made sure that we didn't cross path for each other but uh, I think if we crossed paths nothing would have happened yes uh, <laughs> we had not each other's taste yeah at she, that time. she wanted someone uh, someone not someone but someone who is like someone else <laughs> and even me uh, my <laughs> requests from God or my uh, ideal wife was a Filipina uh, but you know that was my thinking at the time of course now I don't so know yeah I so we were that. arranged so you can see how literally this was arranged like yes. he's not my type I'm not his type but uh -huh. let's continue arranged by it started with my parents uh, specifically my mom and that's what happened to our family, to all of my older siblings, my older sister, my older brothers. They all went through it, so it was not a shocker for me, uh, honestly. Uh, of course, with my wife, Elizabeth, it's more of a shocker for her because she, has ne she had never seen it before. Uh, Wait, we hear about it with... Uh, um other communities, other cultures, they have arranged marriage. Like the Indian community and the Indian nation, a lot of them uh, do arrange their marriage. To all our Indian fans, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe! <laughs> yes, and uh, they have the lowest divorce rate in the world uh, as a nation, so something's working for arranged marriage. Uh, so that's how we did not meet, Yes. and yet we're together right now with three kids and mm -hmm. uh, happily are we happily married wait we will get there <laughs> let's not rush the process happily married yes. <laughs> okay uh, so um from my part my mother went for a wedding his sister's wedding mm -hmm. in the philippines another in, arranged marriage another arranged <laughs> marriage <laughs> in 2011 and while she was there she calls me and says uh do you know the son of the Ocampos called Solomon. I'm like, no. <laughs> They're like, anyway, the mother told me she would like you to be his wife. Just and like I'm that. like, <laughs> I'm like, mommy, Kwani Wanaome or Mekosekana Uku Kenya. And so I was like, ah, uh, no, I'm not doing arranged marriage again handle this sister can find herself a man i'm not desperate my nanos and so she's like anyway you think about it uh we'll talk when i come back oh uh, when she come back she just mentioned it a little bit we didn't get into detail about it 
And that was that. I continued I with my life. I remember you were in class, right? When she rang you up and you were in the middle of a lecture or something. I have no idea what you was were. Doing. Okay, maybe you remember me. I, I don't remember because you told me and you were dismissing it. And I can't believe you were not so happy. How with can my somebody face? tell you <laughs> that I didn't even know the guy? And so, anyway, since we're in the world of Facebook, I go to Facebook, Solomon Ocampo, I see his profile picture, I'm like, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, thank you. <laughs> so anyway, Maybe she's lying. Maybe she was really like, oh, so handsome. I'm like you to come here. Huna, there was zero, <laughs> like zero. It's when like, I tell you I married a stranger, my people, I married a stranger. <laughs> okay, that's fair enough. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So anyway, uh, so she comes back, and she's like, okay. So what? Like I said, she didn't mention it. So we continued. We continued the life. Then all of a sudden, one of my friends um, wanted to buy a wedding dress, and so she she asked me whether I could take her to the Philippines. Uh, and so my family we decided, ah, let's go all of us. So anyway, so we ended up going to the Philippines for a family vacation for two weeks. And while we were there, I met you there in the airport. No, in the Philippines. Okay. Yes, yeah, you know okay. when we were there, yes. of course your family was hosting us, his yes. family was hosting us, but he was in university, so I would see him and they would say, oh that's, that's the girl from Africa who is for Solomon. I mean it so was just like a joke. you could say that was the first time we really met. Yes. Yes. But it would really upset me, I'm like, these guys, and to be honest, I was dating at that time, so uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see, <laughs> so yeah, I was dating some guy. And anyway, she was dating a brother. <laughs> brother in Christ. Anyway, moving on. Brother, <laughs> moving you know on. what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Moving on. So I'm in the Philippines. We're having a great time. Uh, the people keep making jokes. I'd see him here and there. Teasing us. Teasing us. So, uh, but you know, there was nothing. Like I said, I had nothing. He had nothing. And but. But one thing I really did say was, if this is truly from God, I don't want to hear from his mother, who just, they're good friends with my mother. I hope his father also, maybe, can hear the same thing. But then I will think about it. If his father gets a revelation about it, then I'll think about but it. But at the time, my dad was just dismissing all of those teasing and jokes because he was like, I don't care if everybody is pairing you two together. But if I don't feel that the Lord has uh, paired you two together, I won't be part of it. So at first he was not joining the chorus of those people egging the two of us. Oh, you and Solomon and Elizabeth. Uh, yeah, right? Mm, well, I don't know. This but, is your perspective. Yes, <laughs> but then later on, uh, he did see... Uh, the two of us Ah, together. you're running, you're running ahead. Oh. So, yeah. Anyway, he did see the two of us together. No, we did not. We did not talk. We did not talk. We never talked. Okay, that's much I better. was just in the Philippines having a vacation with my family, okay. with a boyfriend back in Kenya. So, we did not talk. We can't say when this was a meet. Anyway, so on the at the end of the two weeks, the end of the two weeks, um, we had a farewell party. What is it called? Despedida? We had a despedida with the ministry and the camp and they had beautiful things and they're not telling us why we're going. It's a Filipino culture, lovely culture thing. And so during the despedida... A farewell party. A farewell party. Uh, wait, before the night before, your father called me. Uh, <laughs> no, he, we were having dinner the night before. He, he told me I had a revelation from the Lord that you are the bride for my wife. For my for my wife, <laughs> for my husband, <laughs> I for my husband, <laughs> for my son. <laughs> and then, <laughs> how did you son. take that call? Uh, it wasn't a call. We talked. We okay. talked. We talked. to talk. I was like, oh, okay. And then he had scripture. He had heard from the Lord and from Isaiah. Well, his daughters will come from. Anyway, so it was a heart to heart talk. But. Um, and I was like, yeah, okay, okay. But I really never put much thought into it again, like I said. But this time now, the prophet of God, his father is a prophet. Now, the prophet has spoken. Now, it's heavier in my heart. It's heavier, like, wow, does God really want me in arranged marriage? Is this the way for me to go? 
and so I, I seriously, um, I just thought that was that. We are not going to talk about it again. Like I'll be given time to think about it. So back to this despedida. While we're sitting there, for some reason, I was in a white dress, and his father stands up. He's like, "We would like to announce the betrothal of my son." Hey, the whole spiritual family, yay! Church. The whole church, yay! Okay, okay. And then so Solomon Ocampo and he comes. I'm like, hey, my friend, I hope they are not calling me. <laughs> hey, hey. So we're sitting there with my sister and my friend, the one I've taken to uh, buy the wedding dress. And and says, and uh, his future wife is Elizabeth Muyu. My Jesus, my friend, my friend. <laughs> I tell you what. <laughs> hey, hey. 